In this video I'm going to show you how I installed the simple human kitchen towel holder in the kitchen area of my Hero Camper Ranger. Okay so excuse the hotness it is really hot still here in the UK it's 32.2 out here as I'm talking but yeah I wanted to talk about the kind of kitchen roll holder situation in my Hero Camper right now so as you can see you would have seen in other videos if you've been watching them on the channel I have this IKEA uh, kitchen roll holder that kind of just clips on to the metal backings here and it takes a standard size kind of UK kitchen roll holder it works pretty well it is a little bit um, wobbly and sometimes the end kind of falls out a little bit and this kind of droops down a little bit but when I wanted to use um, the larger kitchen roll it doesn't fit it's too long uh, and has a little bit of clearance issues at the back and I don't know why but um, with kids and stuff we get through um, quite a bit of kitchen roll so I wanted an option to use something bigger I wasn't really sure what to do then I remembered that in some of the original videos when I was researching into teardrops and everything one of the manufacturers I looked at was a US uh, company called Bean Trailers and they have this really nice uh, towel roll holder that they kind of fitted up here on the left hand side because their sinks down below and I've asked them what it is that they're using but they've never told me but this week I realized what it was and it is this the simple human towel rail or towel roll holder they do um, two of them a standard length one and the long length one which is what this one is it's about I think it's 20 pounds for the standard length and 22 pounds for um the larger one and it's basically a couple of features about it one it looks pretty nice it's super easy to change the roll but it also has like a little mechanism on the end which makes it easier for you to just pull one or multiple out as opposed to it kind of cascading all over the place and being a little bit trickier so it's easier when you've got your hands full trying to do stuff so this video i'm going to install this in my um hero camper so I'll show you how i'm going to go about doing it uh, i'm going to fit it up here and um, so like the opposite side to what the bean trailers have so it's over the kitchen area still kind of out the way but i just need to make sure that everything's going to close properly so i'm going to move the camera around grab my tools and then kind of show you the product and how i'm going to install it okay so a couple of things i'm going to be using uh, a really small or well, relatively small drill bit so i can drill a small pilot hole into um, the roof here of the Hero Camper kind of kitchen area. My original plan actually was to use 3M VHB tape um, and I bought that but you'll realize why I couldn't use that in the end so I've decided I am going to kind of man up and screw into it. Pencil so I can mark where the holes are and then I'm using some of these 16mm um, uh, multi-purpose screws from Wix which I've used inside uh, the camper already so uh, a relatively small size you can see that just there but I know that they aren't too thick for um, the materials of the camper assuming it's the same as inside so again this is the simple human kitchen roll holder itself so you can see a little bit of information here on the back as to kind of how it's supposed to help dispense things so again as with most of the things this is a luxury item definitely not something that's needed I'll show you what's inside so we have the kitchen roll holder itself which I'll just take out I'll show you so this is the back and this is why basically I couldn't really effectively have 3m tape on here that would have enough coverage because again it needs to be sturdy enough that you're going to be pulling on kitchen roll to get it to come out so it needed to be sturdy enough if it was all kind of flat that would have been fine but it's not this is a little kind of piece that um, adds some friction so it doesn't all kind of pull off and to get the end off it's simply that these two little buttons it just comes straight off so super easy to be able to change things out so that's the um, kitchen roll holder itself inside Here. Here's some super basic 
instructions, basically it's telling you how much clearance you need to have. So um, two inches from uh, the side uh, to the back. And they recommend again using the screws. Some of the other simple human products, they do say that you can use you know, 3M sticky tape, but for this they do recommend, um, you know, using the screws, which is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna use the screws that come with them. And um, so these are the screws that come with it. I've done a little check. I think that she probably wouldn't go all the way through um, the, the roofing material, but I know that these, um, 16 mil ones won't and you can see here that um, I put them in a hole it comes through enough that there's definitely enough gripping power on there to be able to keep it in place they don't look that great um, but to be honest the, the screws that come with it don't have the nicest kind of um, end on them either I thought that there might be like a little cover that you could kind of put over them to you know hide the screw head but i think most of it is going to be hidden um, by the rail or the, the kitchen roll anyway um there's no specific uh, restriction on here so you can mount it this way or this way or if you wanted to you know if you're doing a kitchen underside or, or what have you so it's going to work perfectly fine i'm going to install it this way around over here so um i'm just going to position things up make sure that when the door closes it's not going to catch anything um hopefully no um obvious mistakes because obviously once this is on um you know screw holes and we don't want to be kind of screwing up so i'm going to move the camera so hopefully you can see a little bit about what i'm doing over here and, and testing things out and then we should be good to drill some holes okay so first thing i'm going to do is put um some kitchen roll on the dispenser so I can be more confident of the size that I'm trying to deal with and again my plan is it's going to go around here ish but obviously when the door closes you want to make sure it's not going to catch on the part of the roof here so it needs to clear enough uh, and that's what I need to kind of keep an eye on so I'm going to slightly close the door and let the the lid come down on us to then get that positioning okay so I think it's gonna be fine just here I'm just gonna mark with the pencil roughly where I want the end I'll just move the camera and show that to you. So, just over here, where I'm planning to put it. So it's going to be kind of above where the sink area is. So, what I need to do now is mark the kind of couple of holes that we're going to put the, fit, the fitting. So again, take the end off, take this off, line it up. Mark where the holes are going to go. Okay, so I've got the three holes marked. I'm just going to double check again. Measure twice, real once, to make sure that this would not be any. Yep, yeah, that's going to be absolutely fine. Now comes the horror moment, we're going to drill some holes. Okay, it's not sure how well this is going to come out on camera. Basically has the three holes. Just over here. So one there. One there. One just there. So now we're going to drill it. Very carefully. Okay, so there's three very small kind of guide holes and then I'm going to use the drill to drill a little bit deeper. We're just trying to go 
kind of through the first kind of layer. So you can see it's relatively thick. Um, we want to just break through so it doesn't crack um, the outer kind of shell of it. So I'll just finish that up and then show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is it. The three holes have been done here. So one here, one here, and one here. So it's going to be a little wipe off and then um, get the screws. Use a screwdriver as opposed to um, a, a drill or a, a power screwdriver or anything to make sure we can do it nice and controlled into there. Okay, so with any of these types of projects, it's really important that you use the right tools. So make sure you're using a big enough um, screwdriver for the size of the head, the screw bit you're using, especially on materials like this, because you have to put quite a bit of pressure in there and you don't want to round the head or kind of slip or do anything like that. So keep that in mind as we kind of go through here. So I've got one screw just in very lightly to help me guide up the other ones. And as you do this, you'll hear a little kind of crunching noise as the screw bit is obviously going into that material. So obviously the pilot hole is obviously smaller and we're slowly kind of cutting our way into it. So just keep that in mind that you know that you're in the hole as it were. And then I just, again, like to do this nice and slowly. Try not to put too much pressure don't need to over tighten anything because obviously again we are going to put some force on it with the, with the three screws um, again it should be more than enough to be able to handle the tension of the, screw, of the uh, towel rail so as soon as you start to feel just a bit of a stop in the tension you can stop and just make sure you just nip up all three of them To that point just like that and then give it a little tug and that all feels absolutely brilliant let me just uh move the camera so you can see it and i need to get a bit of kitchen roll i think to wipe the sweat off okay so that's it in position so you can see that looks good you can see the screws there and a the bracket from the side here well, looks pretty good the main thing for me with these mods is I want to make it look like it was always there for like factory kind of insulation. I think it's hard to see on camera, um, but it does look straight from my eye, which is the main thing. So again, if we get the, uh, the larger kitchen roll, you can pop that on there. You see the little springing mechanism just here. Let me get the simple human end that we can just pop in there. Looks like it's one of those materials that's a bit of a, a fingerprint magnet. And then let's uh, see how this goes if we I just want to get that one piece off. Yes, look at that. Okay, so I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks good, it looks like it always should have been there um no issues with the closing or opening again just keeps it a bit up out the way so now i can move this out of the way and just give me a little bit more uh, area in the sink area but yeah i think it's a nice mod uh hopefully it helps if you think about doing something similar and again thanks to the bean trailer people for fitting theirs as stock i think it's a, a nice little addition and uh just another little tweak to the hero camper kitchen area so if you enjoyed this video please consider liking it also consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell so you can see more Hero Camper Owner related videos. Thanks again for watching and until next time, take care and bye for now.